back to Orcus about eight years ago, and the only internet available was CenturyLink DSL. Speeds were 1.5 download and you know abysmal upload. I waited a long time and tried a lot of other things to get better access than that, and it just didn't exist. Corporate America isn't going to come out here and spend a whole bunch of money on a few people out on a remote island. So we got together, a few of us, and decided to build this thing out. It all really starts up at the water tank. The network is completely wireless. It's all point to point, and each home has a radio on it that points to another radio in the system. And ultimately, all those radios feed back to the water tank. And at the water tank, we have a large radio that we pay StarTouch broadband for. And it's an FCC microwave link, and that goes all the way to the mainland. And that's what the main internet feed connects onto. Now, the network design was a little bit of on-the-job learning and training. In my day job, I'm a software developer, so I deal with networks and computers and stuff like that. So I already knew basic routing and things like that, but it was really a grow-as-you-go thing. You learn what to do, what not to do, and eventually you get a model that works, and then you replicate it out. And We did a lot of testing initially to make sure it would work, and then we expanded from there. The drones initially helped us to be able to fly them up where we were going to put something up in a tree and look around up there and make sure that we could see back to the next hop. One of the places in particular is at my house, there's a tree that we thought if we put a radio up in it would work. And so we flew the drone up to the top of the uh, tree and then we looked back and we could see the water tank. So we knew that it would work. This is the new way we do it, is we have a radio in here that we fly up and we actually look for the, the wireless signal. Instead of just saying, can we see it, we can confirm that we can actually see the signal before we send somebody up in a tree. In the beginning, in order to launch the program, we needed about 25 people to commit to cover our costs. I think people were leery whether we'd be able to actually do it seeing as you know nobody else could get better internet out here. But we did get 25 people to commit to it and we're able to prove it. At this point now, we've got more people that now that it's worked want to be on board and we've got about 50 people now connected. It's definitely faster. Now people experience on our network anywhere from 30 or 40 megabits a second, both upload and download speeds. Um, and there has been way less outages. And when there is an outage, we communicate with our members to tell them what's going on. I think so many other communities could do this themselves. There does require a little bit of technical experience, but it's not something that you know people can't learn. And if we all get together and sort of share our resources, communities can do this themselves and be more resilient.